Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. This is Bowtie Soulfly coming at you from the Bowtie Soulfly Estate here in Lovely Darkest Dungeon. So, in our last episode, we did absolutely phenomenally. We walked away with over 29,000 gold after doing a veteran-level long explore mission. And uh, we had our first, or not our first, but another character reach champion level. That was Mowbray. Uh, you can see we're back down to 5,600 after that to 29,000 gold because we're locking in Mowbray's unerring trait, which gives him additional damage to range skills. And we also took the time to do things like upgrade the guild, as well as give some characters level 4 skills, such as Vatville here, because she's going out again today. And then make sure that our level 4 and 5 characters have at least level 3 armor and weapons. So, today we're going to be taking on the Swine King, and we are going to be... Hoping to get the Cleansing Crystal out of it, which gives additional Blight, Bleed, and Debuff resist at the cost of Blight, Bleed, and Debuff chance. So, the idea behind this is you use it on a character that focuses on direct damage rather than damage over time or debuffs, and they're able to resist a lot. So, of course, Vatville's going to be rocking the Heaven's Hairpin and the Beast Slayer's Ring for the extra damage against beasts and extra accuracy. Bordell's going to be rocking Heavy Boots for extra move resist and protection, and the Tenacity Ring for extra death blow resist and dodge, because we're going to be depending on him a lot to take hits. Uh, we're going to be using the Sacrificial Cauldron for increased damage, and the Evasion Incense for increased dodge on Roared, and then of course the, uh, of course the Wrathful Bandana for additional damage and debuff chance with Bellet, and then the Medic's Greave so she can still do some decent healing and offset the negative heal skills from the Wrathful Bandana. So... Without further ado, and before my game freezes up for like a fourth time trying to do this, I know, it's crazy, let's go ahead and hop right in. Hi, it's your old friend over-preparing. How are you? One, two, three. All right. And I'm going to be trying to, uh, trying to collect some more... I'll wait until he finishes. Critical factor. Best results came from pigs. His flesh is most like that of man. Okay, that was creepy. Uh, anyway, we are going to be trying to get more heirlooms because I noticed I've been skipping on those a lot more recently, and I really need to start upgrading more parts of the town in order to not only progress the town, but also allow me to unlock things easier and not have to spend as much money. So. Obviously going to be down here. Nameless abomination. Let's get it on. To my failures. It must be destroyed. We'll of course be saving a key in the event that we get a secret room. We've been rather lucky with that lately, so let's let it ride. And we're going to walk away with a shovel and 250 in gold. Not bad, not great. But okay for a first hallway. Let's go ahead and get the scout here. Alright, I'll take the hallway fight over the room battle. Six crests, and I do need to make sure I'm keeping the crests because I've been ignoring them completely. Mama can come in. Beautiful dodge. Another beautiful dodge. So we're gonna demons pull him up to the front. Stumbling scratch, gonna miss. Beautiful. I'm gonna use Hounds Harry to deal some bleed damage there. Go ahead and kill him. Beautiful. 14 damage, so he'll be dead. Ne mm, I was wrong. I was going to say next turn, but no, it's not. All right, let's... Beautiful. 16 damage, so she's already coming in really handy for us. And let's go ahead, kill him. And he's gone. Beautiful crit from the Hellion. All right. So we're going to walk away with some herbs, some food, and some money, 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 money! Money! We'll eat that two food now with her just to clear the inventory space because we already have two stacks of foods, foods, food, which I know we won't need since the dungeon is laid out the way it is. All right. Ignoring stack of books. That hurts. Curious is the trap maker's art. Sorry about that. For some reason, my Darkest Dungeon's been running a little weird, so it might randomly have some uh, vocal or visual frame skips. 
I don't know why it is, but it quit like six times before I was able to get into this mission, so we're rolling with it. All right, we're going to go ahead and set up camp because I want to just take him out immediately. Uh, we'll, we'll eat the minimum amount of food possible because we don't really need to do anything else right now. Uh, let's see. Sharpened spear, most likely. Uh, we'll definitely do Hound's Watch, so that puts us at 7, I believe. Reduce Torchlight by 100. Increase Stress by 15. Eh, not even close to worth it. Oh, uh, we might do that to increase their damage. Then Marching Plan, so let's see. 3, 5, 9, 12. Perfect, so Sharpen Spear for increased crit. Hound's Watch for increased chance of surprise, as well as no nighttime ambush here. Dark Strength is going to go on to our Hellion because I want her to deal all of the damage possible. And then Marching Plan to give us additional speed going into this battle. So, I am happy with that. Let's go ahead and rest it up. The way is lit. The path is clear. All right, everybody ignore the books. Thank you. As you can see, we have just a tiny bit of stress going in here. Beautiful dodge, though. Saved me some trouble. And let's go. Let's get it on. All right, here he is, Swine King, 198 health. So he's going to be an SOB to take down. Oh, and you know what? I forgot there is an ability that she gets, the Rallying Flare, which makes this, honestly, so much easier. So... I completely forgot to get that, but you know what? We're here now. We're going to enjoy ourselves. So, uh, let's see. Most likely going to mark her. So, I'm going to go ahead and guard dog. And these two. So, let's see what we can do. We're going to weaken and curse him. And let's just... Do we want to bleed him or no? Now, let's just go in for some damage. 12 is a lot lower than I wanted, but... All right, let's go ahead and mark him. You mark me, I mark you back. All right, so the increased dodge definitely helped him out. Squee! Oh, really? You suck. And this one. All right, I'll do that. So Hound's Rush is going to do more. And actually, let me go ahead, because I always forget to do this. Use that sweet, sweet treat for additional damage and accuracy. So Hound's Rush going to come in. 16 damage. That's what's up. And the bleed. We'll take it. 35 with the crit. This Swine King stands no chance. 18 from the Arbalist. Yeah, this thing's going down in a couple more rounds. And that's something that I've noticed about some of the older bosses. Uh, the Swine King was an earlier boss. The Necromancer was an earlier boss. They tend to be a lot easier than newer bosses like the Incohate Flash or the Brigand 8 Pounder, 16 Pounder, however many Pounders you want to have. So that is one thing. Two heal roared. Do we need to have another talk, buddy? All right, we are, of course, just going to try and rip him a new one. Stun's going to pop on her, and I am going to guard dog on her. Not going to work, but it gives him plus 44 dodge, which makes it much easier to dodge. And, yep, misses again. So that's perfect. So we're taking a lot of damage. All right, well, I guess he's stunned now. So that cleansing crystal would come in really handy. Roared. Like, I'm not worried yet, but I'm very, very angry. Okay. Beautiful. 35 damage crit again. So that's 70 damage from her just on those two crits alone. And let's see. I'm going to actually spend the turn. We get a nice crit heal on her, which is perfect, and increases the heals received, meaning that hopefully Ward can't screw this up again. All right. Uh, Wild Flame's going to come in and hit him, unfortunately. Hit a squee. So we got the resist, which is good. Uh, we are going to heal up our Hellion for six. Ward, come on. You gotta do better than that, man. And I think we're just gonna go for straight damage on this turn. Yeah, 23. We should be able to end, to end, to end the Swine King, hopefully? Ooh, this could be bad. 16, so it's not gonna be enough to end him, unfortunately. Obliterate body, ow. Yeah, what the, 
ability of the Arbalist does is it clears marks from targets, so whenever he tries to mark to do more damage, uh, it just clears all of that and means that he doesn't get to do that damage to us. Three. Roared. Come on. I'm bleeding for more than you're doing in damage. Like, really? All right, we don't even need to use the treat anymore. Swine King's dead on his next action, so we're going to spend some time healing up because Roared is incompetent. Bye bye. What's up, Wilbur? You're gonna squeam. You gonna stun me again? Oh, good, you don't. All right, 11 heal. That's better. Took you long enough. Certainly wasn't when we had the boss here. Squeal's gonna hurt. But we all resist the stun. I'll take it. And we heal a nice 6 HP. Wow. That is beautiful. We're gonna hounds rush at him, get some bleed going. Uh, we'll heal up. Our cultist a little bit. Because again, we're going to explore the rest of this dungeon now that we've taken out our main target. And I say that we've taken him out because, let's face it, it's Wilbur. Not too worried. <coughs> Squeal! Everybody resists. That must have an incredibly low chance to stun. Alright, and Wilbur's dead. So we're picking up the Steady Bracer which is actually, I like it. It's a good item, especially for some lower level characters. Uh, the Bleeding Pendant, Jade, and some Crests. And yeah, we're going to continue adventuring because we ain't done. No, we are not. All right, we got some treasure in this room. I'm hoping to come across another, across, across another secret room because we've been pretty good with those lately. I apologize if I sound a little congested. I am. All right, Swine Tor is going to be a problem. So are you. So are you. All right, so. I'm just so angry. Always so angry. So extra stress damage. That's not the worst thing that could happen to us. I mean, we're relatively good. That's bad. All right, so we're off to a really bad start. Again, we don't have to do any more than we've already done. And minimum damage. So if RNG would like to, thank you. Thank you. That's all I ask for is just a fair roll. Not two minimum rolls in a row. 12, so we're not going to outspeed him, sadly. He's going to trot retreat. Luckily, we dodge. Does that increase dodge? We do. Uh, that's not going to kill him, so instead I'm going to spend a little time healing, getting in touch with myself there. 12 heal. Gonna vomit, as long as it's not rabies. All right, good. Good, good, good. All right, he's down, so the swine tar is our only problem now. It just lowers dodge. So I'm gonna suppressing fire, try and reduce accuracy and crit. Work like a charm. All right, let's continue. Um, let me heal up again. Trot Retreat isn't going to do too much damage, so not too worried. Uh, let's just stack up some bleed on him. I like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're up to five damage per round on bleed. Not great, not bad. Ouch! So maybe we will go ahead and... Stun him. Or not stun him, but uh, debuff him next turn. Yeah. Weakening Curse, that'll reduce his... Oh, never mind. Alright, we're gonna do some more damage here and stack some more bleed, up to 8 per round. <coughs> Beautiful 15 damage crit, up to 10 per round on bleed. So, two turns, he is dead. And let's just go ahead and put the nail in the coffin right there. Alright. You are correct, prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I agree completely. Key unlocks the hidden compartment. More portraits, moss portraits. And we should be good without you. All right. Let's go ahead and move on up. Moving on up to the next room. I apologize again for my terrible singing. I regret nothing though. All right. Let's see what heirlooms we come across. Six more crests, can't carry them. Yes, you can. Don't lie to me. I haven't been getting blighted, so I'm going to throw him away. Watch me get blighted by every single enemy in the next room I'm in. 
<laughs> Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. So let's see if we can just kill these really quick. Pull them up. So we're not going to kill all of them, sadly. Beautiful crit. God, I love her so much. I love Hellions. I also love Lamp. All right, so we're down to just one. I can deal with that. Dodge gonna come in, which is good for us. Hey, a nice two crit heal. I hate you, Roared. And that's how you do a crit. 16 damage, looks good. <coughs> so I'm going to eat up all this food here, grab these portraits. <coughs> oh, God, again, I apologize. All right, so we're going to get rid of those other herbs in favor of the food. I figured we'd get more food from this, so not worried. And get a nice scout. There it is. All right, so we see some more curios. Sadly, no secret rooms yet. Oh, and a ghoul fight. But we get the surprise, which is perfect. I'm going to pop a torch, get that accuracy up as high as possible. Beautiful crit again. Wow, he's killing it with the crits. Iron Swan, gonna come in. 17, another crit. Ho, ho, ho. RN Jesus is a fan of me today. Yes, sir. All right. Debuff him a little bit, and 10 more damage. So he's going down next turn. Beautiful dodge. Skull toss. Ouch. <coughs> to be fair, he deserves a little stress. Animus. All right. Overall, a good first turn there. Wow, he's going already. Ouch. Beautiful resist, though. That's what's up. We'll make it bleed. It's a little more accurate. Ego. Beautiful dodge. I was hoping I'd act first. I didn't, but doesn't matter because he's dead. All right. 200 gold. Let's move on. So, two resistance. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we took out the thing that was resisting us, so not too worried. Not at all. All right, we'll make a sweep back around this way. Crack our torch. A blazing star is born. All right, he's going to disarm and heal up a little bit. We need another two food between them. So we still got 16 food. We're looking really good. Correction, we have 12 food. We're still looking really good. As soon as I say it, it figures. This should be our starting room. It is. Also, I did learn the keyboard shortcut for using torches is apparently just... Bam! T! Haha! <laughs> so, I'll be trying to do that more often so I don't have to switch between menus as much. Ow! Switch between menus as much. All right. More heirlooms. Woo! Look at all these crests. That's what's up. Can afford to throw these away on every mission after this now. Uh, also, ten portraits. Not too shabby. Could use some deeds, absolutely. All right, so a couple more room battles. We'll go ahead and do them. The experience. For the halibut. Yeah, that would work better if I was in the cove. Came from nothing, I'll end with nothing. Food. What else can we afford to get rid of? Nothing else really right now, so... Bye-bye, uh, Onyx. You will be missed. Disarm another one so we get rid of some stress. Always good. And let's see what we've got for the fight. Another swine tour. Not a fan, but we get the surprise, which is good! Woo! Alright, we will, of course, debuff him. Iron Swan gonna come in and finish the job for us. Beautiful. 11 damage on the brawler, not too shabby. Stumbling Scratch will miss. Yep. And Boar Rush is gonna hurt. Not bad.
Just tell me the scratch. Gonna, oh, it actually hit this time. Wow. I'm shacked. All right, we'll mark him since we're going to be needing to do some damage to him in a minute. Debuff him again. Down to minus 70% damage on him, which is perfect. And we'll go for the numbers advantage now. The boar rush going to come in. Five damage, not too bad. Ouch. That is going to be unfortunate, though. Well, demons pull just to clear the corpses. And we will... I forgot we had this. I'm an idiot. <coughs> so his target whistle actually decreases his protection chance. So he's down to 13% protect. Which means this is going to hurt. 19 damage. Beautiful. Crunching back in. Knock them both back. Darn it. Target whistle. Let's lower that even further, shall we? 35 damage crit. Beautiful. And you just go ahead and heal yourself up in the back there. Crunching backhand. This is going to hurt. But we resist. Keep that target whistle going. And that debuff a going. Minus 81% protect. And go ahead and have a little less damage on top of that. You go ahead and heal up. And our Arbalist is going to finish the job. Beautiful. Inordinate insanguination. All right. <coughs> Excuse me again. I do apologize. Got a bit of a tickle in my throat. That's what she said. Nailed it. All right. So I don't see us needing any other shovels, hopefully. Yep. So... We'll just collect a couple more things from these curios. Burn a torch. Burn one more torch so we're above 75. Oh, this is a nice easy fight. Pound rush, nice 10 damage to start us off. And a bleed. Nine and seven. Get rid of him so there's no stress and no marking. And we've got a nice 4-2 advantage going into round two. Beautiful dodge. Equally beautiful dodge. That's why I'm glad I upgraded their armor more because look at Increased dodge base. Oh me, you're so smart. Thanks me. Alright, dead. Dead. Almost dead. Darn it, I can't hit you. I'll heal her up. Alright, so you are going to get an attack. Because I'm an idiot. It's okay. I've come to... I've come to accept that fact. Alright. Be gone. And it's another easy one out of the way. So we're going to, of course, start loading up on as many things as we can here. Oh, uh, this is lovely. What you got in the bag? 50 gold, I'll take it. I will take it. So we have more portraits than we know what to do with, and we're getting another six, I think, from beating this mission. Hey, another surprise. Surprise, surprise. So we will pull you up to the front. Thank you. Uh, well, Hounds Rush. Suppressing fire on them just because. And dead. Hook where it hurts. Ooh, and it hurts. Bleed resist. Yeah, disease and bleed resist. Wow. Nice dodge, though. See if we can get some bleed going on him, perhaps. Indeed we do. All right, that's the one I wanted dead, so that worked out really well. 14 heal will put us right back up to full.
Ouch. All right. So we will heal her up. Nice 10 heal. Perfect. All in chain. Thankfully, he hit him after his turn. What terrible strength! Kind of wish he had stayed in the same position, though. Wah, wah. He's already marked, but we'll mark him again just to give him the decreased protection. And now let's go to work. Beautiful crit. All right. Yarblis is monstrous with that marking, let me tell you. Pushing on to the tasks, and I plan to. I plan to. All right. Ditch the rest of our torches. Because for the most part, we've explored these hallways. Um, we're not going to explore this one. We'll just go over this way. Explore. Clear that trap with our buddy Roared. And most likely call it an episode. Hunger activation. See, that's why you keep the food. You don't throw out the food. Unnecessary damage and stress. Let's see. Already been looted. Unfortunate. Disarmed. More fortunate. All right, we'll go back in here. Let's grab this curio quickly. See if it's any good. More books. Lovely. So we'll go ahead and call that a quest. So we're walking away with 6750 in gold. On top of how much else? Another 3000 so 9775 Almost 10000 gold. Not too shabby. Four portraits and five crests from the quest itself. Uh, the cleansing crystal and then... This will take a while. Look at all those heirlooms. So eight portraits, 11 portraits. This is how you do heirlooms, people. 14 portraits and 48 crests. So overall we get 18 portraits and 53 crests from this mission on top of $10,000 and a beautiful, very rare trinket. And we add two more to our level five. So sadly, Bellet and Roared, we will see you later. Cove Scrounger, more scouting chance, more damage in the cove. That makes me happy. Okay, Rord, I see ya. And Nymphomania. No problem with that. Ha ha ha. All right. Done for months and years. Eternity. And we were rewarded with madness. Madness. All right, so Mowbray, I'm throwing you in here because you got the runs and I don't like it. Roared. Play some quick reflexes. I do want to lock in more of his abilities. He's got really good, like, faded, cove tactician, tough. Let's see, what can we keep on here? 10,000. Why are they all so expensive? See, I wish that some of these positive ones got locked in, too. I think it's BS. Ugh. All right, well, sadly, we won't be able to do that with him. Anything good in here? Eh. Anyone good in here? Wow. Some solid classes. Eh. We'll use melee. And, yeah, no. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, if you're enjoying the Let's Play of Darkest Dungeon that we're doing, if you're excited by how well we're doing, thrilled with how well we beat the Swine King, or you're just excited and happy in general, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because, of course, your feedback and your support are greatly appreciated. But for now, this is Bowtie Sofly saying have a great day and stay fly.